Hey guys, Brody here, and this is the Creative Stage Soundbar. Creative was nice enough to send this to me to check out, and this is a really nice soundbar for pretty much anything, and the sound quality is stunning. The design of the soundbar looks so good starting from the creative logo to the nice glossy finish which you could expect from creative. Just by looking at the soundbar you, you can tell that it was really well built. The dimensions of the soundbar is 2.75 inches by 21.6 inches by 3 inches making it a great size for under your TV or even under your computer monitor. With the soundbar they even add a nice subwoofer which gives you that 2 to 1 system configuration. What is nice about the subwoofer is that it's not too big like some of the other ones that I've had in the past which is a complete square. The dimensions of the subwoofer is 16.5 inches by 4.5 inches by 9.8 inches making it easy to set off to the side. Setting this up was a breeze. First decide where you want to put it. Is it going to be on a table or will it be hanging on the wall under your TV? If you're going to hang it under your TV, Creative was nice enough to include a mounting bracket kit. That kit includes two screws and two wall anchors. On the back of the soundbar, there are two mounting brackets where you would hang it from. Connect the subwoofer cable to the port on the back of the soundbar listed as 4 ohm sub. Then decide how do you want to connect your soundbar. There are four options. The first one is the aux port where you would use the 3.5mm aux cable that is included with this and then connect it to your device. Second is the optical port. Third is the TV ARC port or what is the HDMI port. And finally Bluetooth. The Bluetooth version on this and sadly it is 2.1 with EDR. But I did test out the Bluetooth and shockingly no lag whatsoever when watching videos from my phone. After that give the soundbar some power and you're ready to go. There are a couple ways of turning on the soundbar, either from the side of the soundbar or from the remote control that is included. Also on the side of the soundbar there are volume up and volume down buttons and you can go through the inputs by hitting the power button until you find your input that you'll be using. You can use a USB port to play mp3s from a USB drive that has to be FAT32 format and can be up to 32 gigs. Creative has impressed me once again with the two 20 watt custom tuned mid range drivers from the soundbar. The 40 watt speaker from the sub and the total of 160 watt system peak, the sound quality on this is exceptional. Deep bass, well balanced and made the whole experience much nicer. You can also select from a couple of EQ presets from the controller. You have the options of music, cinema, concert and gaming for those gamers out there. So for all of this, you can get it for just $80, which I'll be honest with you guys, it's probably the best budget soundbar that I've tested out so far, and CNET gave this a 8.3 out of 10. If you're looking for a good soundbar and a subwoofer combo under $100 for your desktop, TV, or maybe your dorm room, definitely give the creative stage a try because I do not think you'll be sending this back. I'll leave the link to this down below in the description, and if you found this video useful, hit that like button, and please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. My name is Brody with Pack Review, and I will catch you guys on the next video.